Hello YouTube, Robin Hood Bricks here, and it's Brick Hall O'Clock. Brick Hall number 200 to be precise. Who'd have thought right at the beginning we'd get this far and buy this many bricks? <laughs> it's ridiculous really. Uh, I'd like to thank uh, Mrs Hood. Uh, I'd also like to thank uh, my Patreon supporters, uh, my channel members, and all of my subscribers, and definitely everyone who sent something in to the channel. Fantastic. Well, as a special, uh, some suggestions were made about doing a room tour, uh, which is a good idea, or even looking at some of the collections that I've got midway, which is also a good idea. But to be honest, the room is such a state that I'm sitting in now, I really need to do some tidying up before we do that. So I will endeavour to do that in the upcoming uh, haul uh, sessions, but probably not today. Today we have a smorgasbord, a melange of wonderful things, not just this box here from bricklink.com uh, to go through. So yeah, let's get to it. I'm excited. Okay, so the first package isn't this one, as I say in front of me. It's one that dun 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 I already opened. How dare I? Exactly. Well, <laughs> it was very urgent because uh, in amongst these pieces were two more, which were 8 by 16 tiles in black, and I needed these urgently, very urgently, uh, and I'll show you why. Yep, as you might have guessed, it's for our old train engine shed roof. Uh, essentially, the set comes with two 8 by 16 tiles making up the roof ends, and then we've got these relatively shiny and reflective combination of tiles in the middle uh, and I didn't really like that so first of all I put in a 4x8 plate to test whether a third 8x16 could fit and that gives it quite a pleasing overhang on the front and on the back uh, and when I proved that to myself uh, I needed to extend the middle section and I had largely all the bricks I needed for that you can see there's a couple of single slopes in there that just need placing with a double. Uh, but yeah, I thought that would look a lot better with this one in position. Uh, and I've already done it on the other side. So if I just spin round, uh, 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 loads of obstacles, you can see, oh yes, it just looks a lot more uniform and a lot more clean and less reflective. So I think that is a really good improvement on that original set, adding those eight by 16 tiles to make a, uh, single kind of texture roof much much better the overhang's very easy to do so uh it just needs an extra two by six plate sort of building into the middle uh, so the overhang at the very top middle can be supported so that was the urgent urgent need i'm going to put the second one in and then well we can get back to the hall so having seen what an absolute emergency that was uh, to get that roof fixed as quickly as possible, you can see why I opened this package and why, well, it was very understandable. Uh, so anyway, while I was at that uh, store, I thought I'd uh, get as many parts as I could. There weren't that many that I needed, to be honest, uh, and what was there was quite specialist uh, and relatively expensive. But I decided to treat myself, and the first one I treated myself to was this lovely sticker sheet. Uh, from the 60380 downtown set from 2023, which is a massive city set. It's sort of kind of confusing with loads of different sort of build styles going on. It's just still too expensive for me to buy, even with a 26% discount as it currently is on Amazon. Um, but, you know, if you want to do that, by the way, uh, use my link. <laughs> but I do like some of the imagery in that, especially on the comic book store. So we've got the sort of city comics uh, sign there. We've even got a couple of comics, I think, the City Tales being one of them, with uh, an intrepid detective, it looks like, and also an associated billboard. And I just love this billboard. It is absolutely amazing. Now, there's two characters in this. One we'll see in a moment, and the other one I already had, which is basically this guy. Uh, so I should be able to use him uh, I don't know, outside the store making a promotion or something. Uh, it's one of the uh, racers uh, from the stunts line, of course, uh, specifically 60359, the Dunk Stunt Ramp Challenge from 2023 as well. Uh, and that's a bit of a rubbish set in a way, but I couldn't resist it for this kind of Velociraptor-themed motorcycle, which clearly this guy, who's, I don't know what his name would be, the Velociraptor, uh, is fighting with the T-Rex character here. So yeah, that is a great scene to have in my city, even if I don't want all the other uh, buildings in that. 
which are, I think you can rearrange them and shuffle them around. But yeah, we've got barber's signs, got some uh, noodle shop sort of uh, stuff, uh, an advert that'll go very well with my 3D pizza sign. It looks exactly the same. Hotel, sport, yeah, all sorts of different stuff going on. So I think they're really useful, but that one is great. So with that in mind, I've got a four by eight tile uh, inverted that I can put that on and make a, a billboard and a second one for doing my own. Talking of billboards, I've got some six by six tiles to do some of my own billboards as well. I decided to use, well, a while back, to use you know, a lot of stickers from my sticker collection to kind of build my own billboards, if you see what I mean. Uh, I use more than one sticker to kind of make a collage of something going on. Uh, some people have kindly sent in in the past some sort of outlines of minifigures. So maybe I'll have a mechanic next to a sort of a service sign or, you know, a taxi driver. Uh, character next to a taxi sign or something like that. So I'm going to uh, do that in an upcoming video. Uh, and then I've got lots of these decorated uh, tiles, uh, which just say all sorts of things on you, question mark, a city skyline, a little pet, an exclamation mark, stuff like that, all different combinations. Because one of the things I'm going to have in my old town, where I'm going to have loads and loads of tiny little shops uh, built into older style buildings, is, well, I thought a card shop, like a greeting card shop. Uh, and I thought all of these one by one tiles in racks, looking very colourful indeed, would be absolutely perfect as greeting cards. So I've got a few of those already, uh, and I'm going to get a few more. Uh, and, well, there's quite a few there, so maybe I've got enough, actually. <laughs> Never stopped me before, though. <laughs> uh, so anyway, uh, I've got another sticker sheet. And this is for the hot dog van, uh, or rather the retro food truck, as they call it, uh, 40681, that I've already got uh, from 2024. That was a gift we purchased. But I've been looking out for another one of these, just so I can have a second sign, because it's got one halfway down one side. It almost looks like it needs one on the uh, top front, if you ask me. And if we had a second one of those sort of fold-out signs, uh, sandwich board type things, then that wouldn't do us any harm either. So that wasn't expensive, so I thought I would definitely get that. Uh, then there's a character who is from the same downtown set uh, and is called uh, the Busker. So clearly she needs some sort of guitar or something like that. And I just really like the combination of hair and clothes and that was quite keenly priced. So I just like all the patchworks on her dungarees there. And that looks absolutely great, if you ask me. So I just liked her. Thought I'd throw her in. Brand new. Doesn't even need washing. And then we've got one more mixed bag where I decided to treat myself finally to the torso of the Atari fan from the uh, uh, 10306 Atari 2600 set from a couple of years back now in 2022. Yeah, it's just too hard to resist. If I'm going to have loads of people playing loads of... Um, arcade games in, in a bigger arcade, then they're going to need tops like this, aren't they? They've already got the Midway guy uh, and stuff like that. So yeah, I kind of need this. I want the Pac-Man one, but that is even, even more ridiculously priced uh, sort of Pac-Man uh, arcade set with the uh, uh, fan girl for that one. Uh, but yeah, I absolutely love the bedroom scene that's part of that Atari set with this fella playing his Atari uh, with all of the posters and everything else in the background. So that is really nice. Good colouring, quite simple, but yeah, sorry, just need that. Uh, too tempting, but I didn't really need the legs or arms or anything, so that's fine. A uh, couple of interesting heads with heavy eyeshadow on uh, from the Series 5 Egyptian Queen. Uh, there's this different bunny that I didn't have because I haven't been buying any of the Dream sets. Uh, he's called Bunchu, I think. So there you go. Or Bunshu, I don't know. But anyway, he can be a toy uh, prize at my fairground or be carried around by a young uh, fan of <laughs> rabbits. <laughs> I don't know. Um, then I've got this head from a spooky boy from series 16 that I'm going to use as kind of thrall uh, for the Batlord army. Uh, thrall sort of somebody who's been uh, possessed by a vampire or sort of is under their influence and looks very pallid indeed. So I thought that was a perfect head for that. I've got this green flat cap, which uh, I think first came out in a botanical set, some sort of plant piece, actually. But uh, yeah, it's now also in the very cool Harry Potter set, 76439, Ollivander's and Madame Malkin's robes from 2024, which is a set I want mainly for the robe shop, because I think that looks absolutely great. She looks like a milliner and has got a really, really nice hat. 
Uh, so I think uh, that would be an absolutely fantastic shop to have in my old town. It's quite interesting, though. If you've seen a review for that set, the, the building's sort of about, say, that high, and then you put it back to the sort of bigger um, uh, Diagon Alley sets, and they're, they're all way up here, way, way taller. But I think that size will actually fit well for my old town. So I'll probably get that set uh, and redo the Ollivanders to look completely different, different color windows and stuff, because I've already got the Ollivanders from the bigger set. So anyway, uh, yeah, there's lots of options there now. I uh, have to think of something creative to do with the minifigures. Though I think most of them are usable, actually, when I've changed the skin. Uh, that is for my space station. I just needed one of those uh, in yellow. Very hard to get, actually. So this was a pretty good vendor. So not a huge, huge amount, uh, but those um, 8 by 16 tiles were absolutely imperative. And, um, you know, this was the best vendor to have other stuff that I needed at the same time. So moving on to our big box. No, I've got something else first as well. Uh, I've got the remnants of a Bricks and Pieces order that I did online. Uh, basically, I bought loads and loads of black ballast tiles, and it's surprising how far they went, uh, as in the wrong way. <laughs> they didn't go very far at all. I bought absolute load, including 200 one by 2 brown uh, tiles, and they didn't even cover both of my T-junction pieces. So yeah, a bit of a nightmare. I'm going to be buying brown tiles, 1x2s and 2x4s, for the foreseeable future. Anyway, while I was there, I got some other parts. <laughs> some that included the wonderful uh, dinosaur T-Rex kind of cartoon uh, comic book character that is this fella. I don't know what his name is, uh, but he's got a green balaclava on there underneath his T-Rex helmet and all these bright colorings. So he'll be the other one outside the uh, comic book store advertising it. Or maybe he's just the guy who runs the comic book store with his mate. Who knows? But they can be dressed up like that, making lots of noise on the motorbike. Uh, I got another character being this guy, who is slightly modified uh, from the um, Governor, I think they call him. Do they call him the Governor? Uh, from the El Dorado Fortress, 10320. Uh, and uh, I kind of wanted this character because I just loved his ornate hat for my older style El Dorado Fortress. Uh, but I thought it'd be really comical if I gave him really small child legs. Uh, so he was kind of a bit of a Napoleon. And that's why I put his hat on this way uh, rather than kind of this way. Uh, and I thought that would make him a little sort of uh, short man with an inferiority complex. <laughs> so I thought that'd be quite funny. That tickles me anyway. So he looks like a child, but he's got a beard. So he definitely isn't. So I thought that was a really good touch. But they're really nice uniforms, these. So, I mean, that hat, that hat is just perfect, isn't it? Yes, that probably would have gone for a fortune before they remade them. Uh, other things, I got uh, the torso from the Zane Detective who's part of the uh, Ninjago City Market 71799 set, uh, which one day I will buy that set, uh, but not yet. Definitely when there's a deal on or a really good gift with purchase and I get a bit more money because I'm spending money like uh, water at the moment, sadly. Uh, but that's a really nice torso. Got some heads from mainly the space sets, I think the top three are, uh, and the bottom two, are, oh no, that one's a Dreams and that's a Criminal, I think. Yeah, but they're really nice. I like the sort of star constellation on that one. And he's got uh, really cool uh, gold sunglasses there. So, yeah, really interesting heads. And talking of interesting heads, check that out. It's a brain. <laughs> now, that's only in one set. 71475, Mr. Oz's space car, a dream set, of course. Uh, and I just wanted a couple of brains so I could do evil experiments on them, really. Not personally, you understand, but... Uh, you know, people in my city. So, uh, yeah, I thought one could go in an evil lab uh, for somebody to experiment on. And then uh, maybe the other one's what uh, a certain brand of aliens eat, perhaps, in the cantina. I don't know. <laughs> Chilled monkey brains. Chilled monkey brains. Yeah, so that is very nice indeed. Uh, I might have to get more of those. The idea of using brains in builds really appeals to me somehow. <laughs> Must say something about me. I don't know. But anyway, that's nice. Then we've got some nice noodle sort of takeaway packages, which I've got four of. Uh, and I put the little sort of uh, uh, pyramid piece on the top just to give it a nice uh, foldable lid. So we've got loads of those. They also came in the uh, Ninjago City Market set. So I thought I'd get those where I could. There's an appropriately scaled hedgehog now. 
the old friends one was a bit too big in my opinion so i thought i could put this on the road or maybe near a, a pedestrian crossing that'd be quite a fun scene wouldn't it i just thought that but that's uh, quite nice that's from uh, 42603 stargazing camping vehicle from 2024 it's still got the sort of slightly dewy eyes but they don't look as offensive on this size one so i quite like him so yeah tiny 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 little hedgehog the last butterfly that i need uh, of at least all the ones that are currently produced uh to augment my botanical gardens probably uh that one comes in 21346 the family tree from 2024 it's the only set that that comes in at the moment so that looks really nice i'm tempted to buy them all again and have a butterfly collector with them all mounted on uh his walls because they're just very pretty as wall art i would say but uh yeah i don't know We'll we'll think about that. It's not like they're going to be easy to sort of show because it'll be on the inside of a building. So it might be a bit of a waste of money. But uh, yeah, they're very beautiful. So having them in the dome of the botanical garden is certainly a good idea. Uh, and then I typed in the word sword uh, to search for interesting swords for my um, uh, castle scene. And I got this swooshy kind of well, lime green one, I suppose it is. I was going to say spring green, but it's actually lime, isn't it? So that looks relatively sort of ghostly. So I kind of like that. Give that to a skeleton or something. And then I got three of these ones in different color combinations. Now, I think the silvery one is actually uh, from the series minifigure, um, uh, what I think of as, what was the name of the hair? Red Sonia, uh, the barbarian lady. So I think I've got that. So maybe that was a bit of a mistake, but it can take a stud and, well, somebody else can have a great big sword as well but these two are a bit more special in that they've got the trans colored blade so we've got the blue and gold and the black and pink which is absolutely great so somebody evil for that one and a goodie for that one holding aloft their mighty sword and saying by the power of gray skull or something similar so yeah some really amazing parts there uh, but yeah, this is probably the highlight for me. So that is uh, a few scenes sorted and some really good quality parts. Uh, and now I can move on to my box. Oh no, there's one more thing I got this week. <laughs> yep, I bought the wonderful new Harbour set, 60422. Uh, Amazon had it on uh, reduction of 25% off and I thought well that's too good to resist and I love a cargo ship uh, and there's a few things I especially love about this uh, first is all the accessibility so we've got the front hatch in there the top hatch in there you can take the uh, top off there and look at the engine block which is very good to have a mechanic in there it's very sort of accurate looking and you can even lift out the whole engine so that is cool uh, but we've also got my standard shape of container in here as well, the uh, six by 10 uh, and a nice dark turquoise one and a nice dark orange one as well. And they've got the open sides just like I do as well. So you can look at the contents, which I think is a lot more interesting. So yeah, so we've got two of those that fit into here and it just fits perfectly with everything else I've got. So yeah, it's just too good to resist. Not to mention the other bits I haven't yet built of the uh, crane and the building on the side, which I can have uh, for my Harbour Master or something like that. Uh, so yeah, I really love that. And the stickers are absolutely great with the cargo on the dark green level. And there's this new color as well, reddish orange. Now, when this first came out on the space sets, I thought, well, what's the point of having another orange? We've already got dark orange. We've already got normal orange. Why do we need one in the middle? Just gonna confuse matters even more. We've got enough little colors, um, like all the purples. There's about six different purples of, of different uh, shades. Uh, so yeah, I didn't think that was really necessary, but here, it looks absolutely perfect. We've all seen ships with that sort of almost rust protective paint on it, I suppose it is, and it is that color. So yeah, I take it all back, Lego, I was wrong. The new reddish orange is the bomb. <laughs> I really like that. If only we could have had the boat tiles on the bottom in the same color, that would have been even better. I'm gonna have to look out for those, but we aren't gonna be really staring at the bottom there. Uh, you can't really see them when it's in position. So yeah, this will be great uh, up front and center in the new city, because across the entire front, pretty much, I'm gonna have uh, water. Uh, and well, there should be lots of spaces for ships like this. Uh, so yeah, I'm looking forward to completing the rest of that set and uh, having this in the city. It's very much like a Robin Hood bricks build, actually. It reminds me of a lot of the ones I've done, but yeah, some really interesting parts and good build techniques. Uh, I like it a lot. So we got that as well. So now can we finally get onto the main box? Yeah, go on then. 
Right, so this is from Denmark, actually. Not uh, straight from Lego Direct, but uh, from a, a Bricklink vendor. And the reason why I had to go there was to find enough of a special part. So the name I gave to this was Arches. And we will see those parts very soon. Let's just get all the bags out from all of the newspaper. And I've got a nice little note there, hoping I'm satisfied. Right, yep. Good oh. Uh, so yeah, straight into this. This looks like the main bag with the arches in. How on earth do I get in that? Has he sealed it? Oh, I think he sealed it. That's clever. Mm -mm -mm. And it's these. Now these are actually in light bluish grey rather than the old grey. You can get them in that colour as well. Uh, but in this colour they only came on uh, a couple of sets, including the um, 7094 King's Castle Siege from 2007. Uh, and the interesting thing about these is that all of the sets that had them only had one over the main entry into the castle each time, obviously, but I wanted more than one. I wanted four. So trying to find four of these is easier said than done, but one, two, uh, three, four, this vendor had it, and that is why I went to Denmark. So I'm planning to have a really, really big double arch, kind of two like that and two like that, uh, so cars can drive through a very, very ancient double gate into my old town. So this will be a very grand entryway in. Uh, you can already imagine the scale. So this is going to be way up in the air with some really interesting battlements and stuff like that, uh, and it's going to be a real feature. Now, whether I have it sort of uh, side on or front on, I really haven't decided much about the specifics of the old town yet, but I know that it's going to be big and, wow, just looking at this, it really is going to be massive, isn't it? So that is a very interesting purchase indeed. Uh, yeah, so that set was pretty cool, actually. I love the black dragon in that one uh, with the skeleton rider as well. So yeah, it must have been quite hard for anyone to accumulate four of these and they're in absolutely fantastic condition. So very happy with that. Now, I'm also going to have some of these end pieces as part of the battlements on the top because I really like the sort of diagonal corners on that to bring it all round. Uh, and I had some in old grey, but not in light bluish grey, uh, which I think both of these are. That might be old grey, you know. Mm. What do you think? Maybe it's just slightly older. No, I think they're both bluish grey. Um, yeah, so basically I want two of those in that colour. So we'll have a slight mix in walls, uh, but that's no problem. They would have been built in different times in the olden days. Uh, but added to that, we got lots of other good stuff as well. And the other massive piece that was in there, wow, that is big. <laughs> that's bigger than I thought it was going to be. Is this wonderful onion dome piece. That is seriously cool. Uh, so this only came in 7418, the Scorpion Palace, uh, which was an old Explorer set, and I'm going to be using it uh, for my Indian restaurant, as I think I've told you before. And I think this was the last major part that I needed. So this will be virtually the entire roof of a little uh, curry house underneath, probably called the Taj Mahal or something similar. Uh, and I think it'll be really amazing. I mean, you won't be able to mistake it for anything else with this on the top. Uh, lots of arches and deco and so on. I'm going to have to block off the back. I don't want a second one because I think that'll be far too big. It's already about, well, eight studs deep. <laughs> so yeah, that is really nice. And I'll probably have to have the uh, Series 13 Snake Charmer character uh, being the owner of that shop. Or maybe I've got some more turbaned uh, people as well that I can use to run that. So anyway, that is a lovely piece. Great condition as well. A bit of grub on the front, but I think that's coming off with my nail. So I can just give that a bit of a polish and it will be perfect. Lovely. Yeah, I'm really. that might be the last part for that build. I'm really looking forward to doing it. Uh, so yeah, that'll be the very start of my old town. Cool. Super cool, in fact. Right, so we don't really need anything else on top of all of that because that is cool enough. But we have got some more parts, uh, mainly castle parts in this bag for the uh, light bluish grey colouring because obviously it will need to match itself even if it doesn't match the walls. So we've got four sort of side panels uh, for uh, the long legs that will need to be on for trucks to go underneath and so on. A couple of those. Uh, yeah, I think that's for one of my bridges over the... Uh, opening to Brick Bay, I want to extend in the new city, I think. Then there's this. Wow. 
So last time we got that picture of the uh, fat lady. That, that's what the catalogue calls it. It's not me uh, <laughs> scoring at that uh, in one of these sort of revolving secret door type uh, setups. But this I thought I could include instead. And isn't that lovely? That looks absolutely pristine, brand new. Wow. Uh, that came in uh, two sets, including 6095, the Royal Joust from uh, the year 2000. A Knight's Kingdom set. Uh, and I love the chains on that black horse there, kind of holding on to the uh, head armour there. That looks really cool. Uh, but this in the backdrop of where the king is standing will, well, be a real feature wherever I use it. Uh, so I'll have to have that. Well, would it go in this setup? I don't know if it will, but it could almost go above the double arch, couldn't it? Just sort of uh, for us to look at, tourists to take photos of and so on. And we'll see the light shining through that a bit. I don't know. But anyway, that looks lovely, doesn't it? Can't believe how perfect that is. If he didn't have that listed as new, he should have done. Absolutely amazing. Wow, I'm going to put that back in a bag, I think, after the haul because I don't want it getting scratched. It is beautiful. Uh, we've also got some more of these. Um, so I just used, well, the variation on these, actually, for my uh, drop pods for my Alien Conquest Aliens. And, and I started thinking, why on earth did I buy these as well? And then I remembered... Because I bought too many deliberately before, and I've actually got three of this style one uh, left over. One, two, three in there. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So that gives me nine. One spare to actually have a second set of stickers for, well, either two more drop pods technically, but no, I don't think I want to do that. It's for the other side of the ramps. I must have been feeling a bit flush at the time when I made this order. But remember I said I could have the stickers on the inside or the outside of the ramps, and these were slightly different. Well, now I can definitely do that. So I'll move all of these stickers using my patented hot tea technique onto the other side of those pieces and uh, yeah, we'll be sorted. It'll look even more stickery and lovely. Well, that one's got some air trapped under it, but uh, yeah, I can fix all that. No problem. Brilliant. So yeah, that's why I bought those. <laughs> a bit of an extravagance, but uh, hey ho. Then we've got a tiny bag full of tiny parts, but all killer, no filler. So we've got a couple of road signs. That one looks a bit worse damaged than this one. But I don't think that's a problem because it would get pretty grubby near uh, the road where it's going to be placed. And I figured if we're going to have a road that's got two carriageways, obviously, or, or two you know directions of traffic, splitting up one to go through one arch and one to come out of the other arch, then we need a sign on each side saying, take that arch, please. And on the other side, sort of take that arch, so to speak. So um, that's what those are for. Uh, and these have been on millions of sets, uh, including 1590 Breakdown Assistance from 1982, which is there at the front. Uh, but they're very nice indeed. So I like those, just telling you which arch to take, just in case you forgot how to drive uh, <laughs> in the short term. Then we've got three of these panel pieces, which I'm just going to pilfer the Bob Fizz sticker from, because it's a lovely drinks brand for uh, the city. Uh, something to compete with the uh, Vita Rush. Uh, and I'm going to move these tiny stickers onto individual cans and have them either in a vending machine or have people drinking them. I think of it as being kind of a energy drink or something that's definitely competing with Vita Rush. There's all sorts of different stickers with the uh, logo on of this uh, uh, Frankenstein monster. Maybe a Frankenstein monster can be selling it as well. Who knows? So that'll be really fun to have. Those parts came uh, from 8670 Jump Master from 2016, a Power Racers set. So put those down there. Then, oh, this is a subscriber idea. This is to get the funnel from the head of the Tin Man and give it to the kind of paranoid believer that listens to too much of the alternative information radio station with my DJ Clint Rage uh, that's based in the shopping mall. Uh, and he's already got the foil head, foil wrapped kind of face from the Robo Emmett character. Uh, and it was suggested that he needed a hat to go on top of his head, uh, being the uh, tin man's funnel so i thought that was a brilliant idea i mean this guy's a complete loon you know he believes that aliens are invading brick nottingham i mean what and poop monsters are in the sewers i mean yeah right you know he, he believes that dr inferno is making a mech to take out the city ludicrous stuff but a very uh good idea for making that character look even more ludicrous so i love that so uh if you were the one who suggested that 
That is your Bedoying. Well done. Uh, then there's one more part in here, which is a lovely purple torso from uh, uh, one of the series minifigure aliens. Uh, and it was to replace the torso of another series minifigure alien being this purple one, the series 22 space creature. Now this has got ridiculously expensive, this figure. I mean, the cheapest one in the UK on uh, Bricklink is 13 pounds. Uh, and they go way, way higher than that. And they're higher than that on eBay. And it's because of the purple classic spaceman torso. Uh, because people are taking that bit out and basically making a purple spaceman. So I thought, oh yeah, I might want to do that actually. But I don't want to leave this guy bereft of a torso. So I thought, what would be the most appropriate looking one? Uh, and uh, I settled on this. So I might do this uh, bit of surgery now actually. If I take off all his other bits and rip off his arms. Ouch! Oh, and his legs, and then I can give it all to this guy, rip off his arms, put these ones back on. Oh, oh golly, that's hard. There we go. And put in his backpack, and put in his head. Then I thought that would still look absolutely amazing. Oh, ho, ho, and I was right. Yeah, I searched the entire catalog for the best purple, dark purple torso. And I think that was it. Yeah, brilliant. So he looks suitably uh, attired for the alien cantina when we get to that. And that leaves me with the beautiful purple torso. And I've got all the other parts. You get the tank on one of the stunt sets that strangely I keep buying. I get the helmet uh, was in, well, a few sets now. I've got purple arms and hands from other minifigures over the days, weeks, Months and years. Oh, there we go. Oh, so this is the first time I've built him. Oh, golly, so I can add him to my classic space tower. Or, well, anywhere, really. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Yeah, Robin Hood Bricks now has a purple spaceman. Fantastic. Uh, I think you can build a grey one using parts from the... Um, uh, what was it? This The Rocket Suit Boy. And I think you have to use an old grey... Uh, 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 air tanks if you want to do that so I can do that I think as well uh, the green one I don't have that's crazy expensive from just uh, one idea set I do have the orange one already so yeah he can join the gang very nice indeed I'm happy with that put him in there uh, so then we've got some rogue arms which I'm sure we can use then some more generic pieces in here got a Purple, well, not purple, dark pink uh, leaf for my underwater plant. Basically, just to give it a bit of variation at the top. I've got enough of those parts to build two of those huge plants in my deep sea cabinet. Oh, we've got this horse armor in green. How about that? Really like that. So that's for my uh, The Green Knight, uh, which I've got using this sort of, um, well, green body armor and so on. I'm going to have him as a sort of nameless, faceless character. Uh, who's very mysterious, so his horse will need something to keep him green, and that looks absolutely perfect. Yeah, forgot I got that. That's really cool. Not seen that ever before. Lots of facet bricks for the sentry boxes in red. A couple of these ladder pieces in old grey to uh, go on train builds, presumably. A couple of those ramps or roof pieces as we see them everywhere. Uh, they came on all sorts of sets, including uh, 6405 Sunset Stables for Paradisa in 1992. Uh, they're sort of for my ramp down from the uh, castle. Some people are saying I should have done that brick built so I could have all sorts of connection points. And yeah, arguably you're right, but I just love this colour pattern. I think it'll look really good. So I'm going to try that. Uh, if it doesn't work, there's all sorts of ways I can use this uh, for flooring somewhere. It's a very interesting pattern. I just thought an absolute load of it would make a very, very beautiful path. Uh, but admittedly, uh, people will fall over if they're standing on that. So I'm going to have to put brakes in it for connection points. And it might be a bit too regular. Uh, I don't know. It might be a disaster. But uh, yeah, I've got a lot of them for something. Uh, another one of those, but with a sticker on. Fair dues. Some tiles in old uh, grey that I'm going to be needing around my harbour, I think. And that is that bag. And then last but not least... A lovely Fabuland character. Now, Mrs. Hood is famously not into Lego. She appreciates what I do, but she isn't into it herself. And when she was a little girl, she had a certain set. It was her only childhood Lego set. 
a Fabuland one called Charlie Crow's Carry All 3634 from 1980. Uh, and that's got a very nice green bin in it, actually. Anyway, um, so I thought I would buy this as a present for Mrs. Hood. So I'll give him a nice wash and I'll have to consider whether I repair his scratch beak. It was sold with a scratch beak, so it's not like uh, I'm surprised at that. And the eyes look fairly good, actually. Uh, but I think just with a nice bit of yellow uh, paint, I might be able to touch that up. So if you've ever done that and you know the style of paint I should use or or if it looks good afterwards or whatever, then do get in touch because I'll be interested to hear about that. But I just thought that'd be a real nice gesture for Mrs. Hood. Hello! And maybe he could even be used in a city, uh, you know, as a sort of somebody in a costume to entertain children or something. Uh, assuming Mrs. Hood doesn't want it on her work desk, which she may well do, actually. There's me trying to put him in the city. And he's a gift for somebody else. Yeah, anyway, there we go. So there is Charlie Crow. I like him a lot. I might have to get one for myself. <laughs> he's great. Can you change out these arms? Not sure. If you can, I could give him wings. That'd be interesting. Anyway, yeah, he is very nice indeed. Yeah, cool. So Charlie Crow caps off an absolute mixed bag of all sorts of stuff today. We've had the roof tiles on the uh, old train engine shed, which really does improve matters. Got some interesting stickers and parts for billboards that I'm going to try and create in an upcoming video. Minifigure pieces, characters for a comic book store. I think that comic book store will be another one of the small shops in the old town. Loads and loads of little ones, all sort of eight studs wide or less. Uh, this one might be a bit wider, <laughs> the Indian restaurant, given we've got such a huge onion dome. We've got the very important arch pieces for a great big tourist arch that is used by road traffic. We've managed to piece together a purple uh, spaceman, green horse armour, other stickers for our drop pods, other bits and bobs over here, and I'm going to be looking forward to building the rest of the lovely harbour set that is brand new out this year. So yeah, not a huge amount in front of our faces, but an absolute array of wonderful, wonderful good stuff. I'm happy. Wow, what a wonderful spread. I don't know where to start. I really don't. But uh, that is another great haul. 200 down, another 200 to come. <laughs> anyway, as always, thank you very much for watching. It is appreciated. Do remember to like, comment and subscribe for more awesome brick hauls. Do also subscribe to the main Robin Hood Bricks channel to see all of these parts being used in the city. Uh, and if you value these channels, there are many ways in which you can support them. Do check out the links in the description below. Uh, and if you want to send something to a future Brick Call, you can by sending it to the usual PO Box address. Uh, and otherwise, we'll be doing a build using some of these pieces coming very soon. Uh, and another haul here, same time next week. So until all of that, see you! Well, who would have thought a crow would be my favourite over a purple spaceman? <laughs>